Types of capital. What are the types of capital that we have? Number one is that we have what to call fixed capital. Number two, we have what to call psycholetory or working capital. Number three is what we call current or liquid capital. And number four is what we call social capital. Is that clear? These are the types of capital that we have. Is that clear? The fixed capital, are you looking? Go back to this one. The fixed capital are the assets, fixed assets that you have. Like building where you are working. And big machines. You understand? Those are the fixed capital, exactly. You have the circulatory capital. You understand? Other things that you use in working. The duplicate capital is the money. Exactly, the money that you use in paying your staff and doing all those things. You understand to buy small small things. Social capital, things like road, road electricity that you need. Exactly, right there. And it's known as what? 
enter pray noah that's the last factor of production entrepreneur so what is an entrepreneur it is the factor of production that coordinates that very factor of production that coordinates and organizes other factors other factors of production which are land labor and capital it is actually the entrepreneur that coordinates land labor and capital in order to produce goods and services in order to produce goods and services so you see if you have land you have level you have capital but you don't have people that can manage it people that can tell every worker this is what i need you to do type this type this they do this will you make profit so you need those to put that money The entrepreneur appears the risk and takes measured decision of, of the business. He risks his capital in setting up the business with the aim of obtaining maximum profit. The entrepreneur is the person who coordinates, controls, and organizes the process of production in order to make maximum output at maximum, at minimum cost, thereby making profit. The reward for entrepreneur is profit. The reward for entrepreneur is what? What is the reward? Profit. So is the person that risks all the thing. You understand? The entrepreneur, when you come to an organization, the entrepreneur is the person that owns the business. Do you know Facebook? Facebook is known by an entrepreneur known as who? Mark Zuckerberg. And he has workers who, who are the labor that work for him. In order to make profit, he has capital. He has his buildings and he has the computers and stuff in the building where he works. And he has land where the building is situated. So it's the person that coordinates, tells everybody, this is what this is how I want my company to be in order for me to make money. He bears the whole risk. If you want to buy a new corporation, he does it with his money. Knowing that if the corporation does not yield profit, he will bear the loss. So he bears all the risk. The entrepreneur bears all the risk in setting up a business. He's the person that brings out his money to set up the business. Is the person that takes the final decision on what happens in the company. The entrepreneur. The entrepreneur. Very, very important. So it's the person that does the risk bearing. The entrepreneur who does what? He bears the risk burden. He does what? He brings out the capital to establish the business. He takes the words, he takes the final decision. So all these are done by the entrepreneur. The entrepreneur takes the final decision. The entrepreneur takes the final decision. So lastly for today, characteristics of the entrepreneur. Characteristics of the entrepreneur. So how do you know an entrepreneur when you see one? Number one, how you know the entrepreneur is the person that bears the risk. He is always the risk bearer. He is always the risk bearer. Number two, 
the entrepreneur is the people that does the organization of the company. Is the person that says this is the leader of the organization. The people that organizes the company on how it is. Decision making. The entrepreneur is the person that what takes the decision. And finally, the entrepreneur is always the person that do what controls other what factors of production. What are the other factors that the entrepreneur controls? Can you tell me the other factors? Machines. Uh -uh. The other factors of production that we looked at today, what are they? Okay. Capital. The capital, he controls the capital. Which one? Yeah. The land and the what? And the labor. He controls other factors of production. Exactly. So that's where we end today.